When I was a single dude, hustling, I was working until late. But when I became a dad, I can't do that anymore. So my wife and I agreed to write our schedule on a paper. Everything starts in our calendar. So every Sunday, my wife and I sit down and list all of our tasks for the coming week. Next, we decide, okay, what day am I going to do this task? I start working at 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Except, of course, if I have weddings or events that I need to film that day. Early morning is my only chance to work because everybody's still sleeping. My wife is working at 4 p.m. to 12 midnight, sometimes late. Now, of course, this is not always perfect. Sometimes things just happen and we can't stick to the schedule. But what I've noticed is that if we plan the whole week, chances are we are more productive rather than reactive or reacting to the things that called distractions. Okay, I need to go back to the editing. Okay, I'm editing the video of my client. This is Steve and this is his buddy Chad. I'm prospecting this guy and this is how I'll do it. First, I will create videos for him. Second, I will give those videos and ask for a meeting. Once I have those videos, I will send it to him on Instagram and introduce myself. I will give the videos that I uploaded to Google Drive and then I will compliment him on how his story inspires me. I will acknowledge him on what he said on the video and I will say, I really want to learn from you. Now, here's what I believe because I already added value to him, there's a chance that he might book a meeting with me. Now, this is a long process, so I'll update you guys on how it goes. Okay, I need to get ready for the wedding. Bye. Bye. I'm just gonna come back, okay? To the airport. Every time I arrive in a church, I always try to look for the person in charge and I introduce myself. This way I can build rapport and they can see that I'm respectful to their sacred place or to their restrictions. Hi Father. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Doing well? Yeah, doing well. Uh, we're the videographer for Charlene and Taylor. Oh, yeah, 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 for the two o'clock. Okay. Yes, two Yeah, so talk. Uh, there's another priest doing it. Oh, okay. It's not me. He okay. made a DD. So okay. we have a retired prayer for two. Yes. So can I go upstairs? Myself, you can. So yes, you can. So yeah. Yeah. There will be a choir up there as well. Mm -hmm. So you'll, I'll, 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 I'll let them know that you're going to be going up there sometime. <laughs> and then, do, do you have um, an audio room that I can hook my audio recorder so I can no. just... Okay. No. That's okay. That's okay. I, I'll just hook the, uh, my microphone to, to the priest. Okay. So I'm going to the second floor because it's a nice place to set up my fourth camera so I can see how long is the wedding dress train. We choose this shot instead of a gimbal. I really like this church because there's some, like a bit of natural lighting coming over here and on my left. My main camera is at the middle of the aisle. I will be the one who's controlling it and Anne or my second shooter is at my right side, focused on the groom. The third camera is at the very end to my right, zoomed in, and nobody's in there. So as you can see, I've moved backwards so I can prepare for the hug and kisses and when the parents hand the bride to the groom.
Let's talk about audio. I hooked a lav mic to the priest, then a lav mic to the groom. I don't usually mic the bride because it's inconvenient for the bride to put the mic inside the dress. Since the person in charge said they don't have an audio room, or meaning I can't hook my audio recorder, then my last option is to find the speaker and put my road mic go to to my light stand. The gray circle is the house speaker or a speaker in the church. And I forgot to mention that the thing that holds the mic go to is called piggyback pocket mount. But I think they're already discontinued. So here's the sample from the bride's audio. I, Charlene, take you, Taylor, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. Now, I just want to mention, before the ceremony, they had this partial first look, meaning they're exchanging letters without seeing each other. So, two things I want to mention. First is the location. The location that the couple picked is not that good because there's no natural lighting to it. The pot lights above will create a raccoon eyes to the couple. The space is too tight for the four of us, two videographers and two photographers. So I suggested to the lead photographer named Chiki to find a shaded spot outside. Now before you go outside with the photographer, make sure you already find your spot. In this scenario or like a partial first look, I always look for a corner so they won't see each other. It can be a door, it can be a tree, it can be this wall. So when the lead photographer, Chiki, saw the spot, she approves it. So the photographer suggested to the couple to do it outside. Now, if the couple resists, at least we tried. Our job is to make them beautiful as much as we can. Second, when they exchange letters, they just read it silently, which is okay. But as the guy who will edit this video, I really prefer if they read it out loud. Better not make me cry. Don't worry, I'll be here. <laughs> At least you don't have makeup to watch out for. <laughs> I think I addressed it to you the same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, it's all up to you guys if you want the couple read their letters. I know everybody has a different style, but my style is I prefer a sound bite from the couple. Are you guys okay? With to read it out loud? I can't just remember what I wrote in there. Yeah, if you want to. Or do you want it just to be... I mean, you can, you can read that letter. Can I read this one? Yeah. Okay. If you're okay with it. Uh, if Taylor's okay. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Okay. Dearest Bubsy Boo Bear, I know that I can't see how amazing you look right now in your beautiful wedding dress, but I just wanted to say that I love you more than words can possibly describe, and I'm so excited to marry you. Taylor, my love, my Bubsy Boo Bear, I cannot believe the day is finally here. I love you to the moon and back. I seriously cannot wait to begin this next chapter in our lives and look forward to starting a family with you. Okay, before I end this video, I would like to know if you guys will be interested in the behind the scene of this full ceremony. Let me know down in the comment section. <laughs>